Hello and welcome to another session in English language. And today our focus is on formal letters, consonant sounds, and present and past participle. But before all of that, let us review the previous lesson. Welcome back. Like I said, first we we'll focus today on letter writing, and the type of letter writing we are focusing on is the formal letter. The formal letter. Okay. So let's go into detail. So we know that I told you before that letter writing is an integral part of communication. So, and um, I told you that you develop your writing skills or you improve your what? Your writing, okay? Your way or style of communication. Okay? Many persons still don't know how to write letters today, okay? And remember, you are making a request by expressing your feelings, ideas, opinions, and so on to someone, okay? Who is not necessarily physically present okay however a formal letter can otherwise be known as or called what you call an official letter so we write to people in their official capacity occupying official positions okay so the rule is that no matter how much familiarity or knowledge you may have about people occupying such offices you must maintain your official position. You must maintain or stick to the rules of engagement. Okay? You must not violate the rules of writing that. Okay? So let's move over to the background on... So when do we write formal letters? So when we are applying for admission... You write a formal letter when you are seeking employment or you have employment requests you write a formal letter when you are embarking on a casual leave okay from office a formal letter is issued when you are giving an official query it's a formal letter when you are replying them it's a formal letter when you are writing to the local government chairman it's a formal letter commissioner or minister of education formal letter so all these are formal letters so let's move into the features or characteristics of a formal letter first we have the writer's address so your address must be at the top right hand corner of the page with your date to follow Okay, then we, on the, after writing the date, please, as much as possible, do not abbreviate the month of the year. And after writing the date, your month should be followed by a comma and the year followed by a full stop. The month of the year when you're writing your date should be followed by a comma and the year by a full stop. Also, don't forget that... We have your salutation, which is the greeting that comes after the right the, the address of the receiver. Okay, dear sir or dear madam. Then you have your heading or your topic or your title. So you state that, but please, it must be on the next line. So then we move over to the body of the letter. So you should then express. So like I told you, don't exchange pleasantries when it comes to formal letters. Don't exchange pleasantries or engage in personal conversation. It's not a dialogue between you and your pen pal. Okay? So there are no slangs, no abbreviations, no contracted words or whatsoever. Okay? Take note of that. Then, after completing the body of the letter, you have the complimentary clause, 
and um, it is always yours faithfully that is suitable okay yours faithfully the y is in uppercase why every other letter is in what lowercase then you follow that with the comma then you write you, your signature comes first your signature comes first after the closing subscript okay your signature comes first and then your name in full the essence of this is because it is a formal letter so let's look at the following consonant sound it's a voiceless dental fricative consonant sound okay and it's produced with the tip of the tongue touching the front teeth okay we have think thank thing thumb anthem author path oath wealth and faith so these are what the, the letters on the line are the letters of the alphabet that contains the sound represented with the phonetic symbol so we have the 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 since the other one previously is voiceless this is was the voiced dental fricative consonant sound meaning that you can literally hear okay than breathe read father those they so irrespective of that you should know and identify that today it's a voiced dental fricative consonant sound then we have it's a voiceless alveolar plosive consonant sound is a voiceless alveolar plosive consonant sound okay so we have two ten tremble extra thomas thomas time change attack attention slapped kicked pushed so every of the words you know not written in it links but are underlined every letter that is underlined contains the sound i repeat contains the sound slapped kicked okay so there we have the the it's a voiced alveolar plosive consonant sound okay we have it in do then expand muddy daddy sudden paddle middle ladder so all of this together is what you need to know on speech work especially consonant sound so let's move on to the present and past participles now the present participle is the same as the present perfect tense and i told you that the present perfect tense deals with the verb to have has and have added to the past participle of that he has done it they have ground the pepper we have the sun okay but in the past perfect tense okay you have to introduce what is called had okay to the past participle of those verbs he had done the groundwork before i came they had ground the pepper we had learned so it should be in the past perfect tense okay so follow that closely okay so we have learned the song before we sang it so you can see that had like i said is the past tense of has and had so it's very important that you do that so thank you very much for joining this class today in order to refresh your memory and recall all that you've been taught i would advise you take the test that appears on your screen